Hello everyone, this is Tarun Kausik from Fantastic Pandas and today in this lecture I will be teaching you about the mathematics as an optional subject for the UPSC civil services mains preparation and the topic of today's lecture is complex number. Okay, so please pay attention, uh, I will be, my focus will be on the speaking and uh, last of thing you have to see on the page which I will, I will be speaking I will be putting a point or just uh, uh, just check out the movement of the cursor okay now you see uh, complex analysis is the topic of today's lecture and uh, we will be studying the complex analysis concept what is complex analysis and uh, which topics it will cover it will be covering a lots of topic in this uh, complex analysis and uh, but I will be solving a question of UPSC means 2015 which uh, just uh, held just a month back ago in December 2015 paper 2 part the question was like that here V here V is an imaginary part portion of the complex number which is given as V equals to log of x square plus y square plus x plus y this is the imaginary function this imaginary function is given and the examiner wants to ask the three things prove that this function is harmonic Calculate the real portion and calculate the analytic function f of z and in the terms of z, mind it, in terms of z, not in the terms of x and y, in the terms of z. Now, <coughs> uh, what is analytic function? The first point is what is analytic function? Analytic function is said to be a function where, where the derivative of its function like uh, f dash z exists uniquely, exists uniquely at every point in the region r and the function is said to be an analytic function. And there are two conditions which satisfy the function to be an analytic function. The conditions are these. This is called necessary condition. I am writing it. This is necessary condition and this is the sufficient condition. Yes. What is the necessary condition? Necessary, necessary condition is that the function f of z should be continuous in nature. Okay. And next, the function, the, the its derivative should follow or should... Uh, now you can say that should satisfy the shear equation and what are shear equation I have put the name Yuvraj Singh here and we call Yuvraj Singh in the short form as UV okay U and V so put U here and V here and X here and Y here okay now put del 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 and put the sign of equal now you get the answer equation number A so this is the here equation 1 and in the next if you put u and v and uh, if you interchange y and x then it means uh, put a sign of minus then this is the second equation this is b equation equation number b okay so these two are the known as here equation and the proof of this are not in the syllabus you just uh, remember these two equation by heart so that uh, you can solve the above question and various similar question which appears in the UPSC examination with very ease. Okay, now first, just write down the statement v equals to log of x square plus y square plus x plus y. This equation just do the derivative of this function with respect to x and with respect to y. And uh, this is the first derivative. And now you are required to calculate the double derivative and double derivative, double derivative with respect to x and double derivative with respect to y. Now, if you are adding these two, the double derivative of v with respect to x. And double derivative of v with respect to y. Now, you, if you add these two equations, then you get the sum is zero. Plus you get the sum is zero. Okay. If the sum of these two equations comes to zero, then the and the, then the function is said to be the harmonic function. Whatever I am uh, written in, uh, inside the circle, this is the harmonic function statement. If the derivative of function, which derivative double derivative of function with respect to x variable and y variable. And the sum of these two uh, sum of these two comes out to be zero. This is Z D R O zero. Okay. The sum which comes out to be zero, sum which comes, comes out to be zero, and the function is said to be the harmonic function. In uh, this is for the both case, real function as well as for the imaginary function. Now if you will get uh, if you get the sum equals to zero, then this becomes the harmonic function. And uh, this proves that this function is said to be the harmonic function. Now you are required to calculate the real function okay now we uh, we have just uh, just take a look here dv del v upon del x and we know that de del v upon del uh, del sorry uh, just put a cursor over here 
Ramins gonna need to remove it so that uh, it will not be creating any problem. So take a look at here. Del V upon Del Y and this is equals to Del U upon Del X according to the CR equation and this is equal to 2Y upon XY plus Y square plus 1 so put this value at here this value I have put it here so if you integrate this function with respect to y, U and with respect to X then you get U where U equals to comes out to be 2 tangent inverse X by Y plus X plus phi of Y why phi of y this is very important why phi of y because we are differentiating this function with respect to dx with respect to dx and we are assuming this is x not y this is x and we are assuming uh, the y as a constant here y y is constant y is sorry uh, this is y y is constant okay y is constant <coughs> now again this we have calculated this, this function as u now you just put the derivative of this, derivative of this function with respect to y yeah, after differentiating this function with respect to y you get this function okay and we know that del u upon del y is equals to minus of del v by x by here look at here del u by this equation del u by del y is equal to minus del u upon del x and we have just calculated the value of del v upon del x this is the value we, what is the value the value is this one okay this is the value just put a sign of minus so that this become minus so this become minus 2 and here minus 1 so what i have put is minus 2 here minus 2 and minus 1 okay now this function will get cancelled out and you will get phi dash equals to minus 1 if you integrate this function with respect to y then you get phi of y equals to minus y so just put this value over here and you get this answer this answer u equals to this 2 tangent inverse x by y plus x minus y and you will get this answer now in the, term, in the third portion in the third portion uh, you are required to calculate the function complete function f of z in the terms of z so how i calculated this we know that the function f of z equals to u plus iv combination of both real as well as imaginary function so now we have differentiated this function with respect to x so point, point it here we have calculated the differentiation with respect to x so it become del u upon del x plus i del v upon del x now just put the value of del u upon del x this function by shear equation and this we have just calculated so in this formula just replace x by z and y by 0 this is called million million Thompson's theorem mt theorem million Thompson's theorems according to him if we just put y equals to 0 and x equals to z then after substituting these value we get f dash z equals to this function and now just do the diff integration of this function with respect to z and we will get this z plus 2y log z plus iz just keep imaginary separate and real separate so that we get z plus i 2 log of z plus z so thank you for watching this video and i will be very keen to know about your feedback if you if your feedback is positive and you want that uh, I should make more lecture on the UPSC mains as a, for the mathematics as an optional subject, so I'll be making the videos. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the Fantastic Pandas. And uh, by subscribing, you will get to know which videos are uploaded and uh, whatever the videos will be uploaded that will come directly to your email account. So you will not have to come to the YouTube to search that whether the channel has uploaded that uh, video or not so please do subscribe and please do like and share this video so spread this word thank you